a special thanks to Tropang Jan Loren for making this video possible. And this video is also requested by Tropang Lucel Joms Pames and Jesse James Alfanta. Paano gawing second router si PLDT Home Fiber own router sa ating Converge router? Kung gusto mong malaman, stay tuned! So we are now set mga katropa to make PLDT Home Fiber own router a second router to Converge. Bakit gusto ko itong gawin katropa? Dahil marami na pong nagsasabi na hindi daw po gumagana si PLDT Home Fiber Ono Router as second router. The good thing is, experience po natin yung problema and thankfully, we found the solution. First thing first muna tayo mga katropa para hindi po masayang inyong oras. This guide will only work sa PLDT Home Fiber Ono Router na merong software version na RP2627, RP2631, RP2646, and RP2684. And maybe this will work sa lahat po ng AN, FAT, at FA owner router model. Yun po yung modem router ng PLDT na puti ang kulay at apat po yung antena. But there is a big possibility mga katropa na hindi po ito gagana sa HG6240 Ono model. Yun po yung dalawang antenna, color black and white, na modem router ng PLDT. Yung software version po na RP2602 at RP2613. At maging maybe sa bago nilang firmware model na RP2670 at RP2740. May skip na sad ka. Tapos humangkot ka naman. Hindi gani. Pinguni ka nga. Not working mo nga. Kumanalagi ang video. Silang. Kaya like na lang dahil. Ano ba mga kailangan din natin mga katropa para ma-achieve po natin yung goal natin ngayon to make PLDT Home Fiber Ono Router as second router? So number one, kailangan po natin ma-access yung admin PLDT account ng ating PLDT router. Number two, kailangan po natin ng LAN cable or patch cable. So sa mga nagtatanong na pwede bang i-connect yung PLDT Home Fiber at converge wirelessly? So ang sagot po natin dyan mga katropa, hindi po pwede. Bakit? Dahil wala pong WDS support si PLDT Home Fiber Router. So you need po na both routers ay merong WDS or nag-support ng WDS for them to be connected wirelessly. Start with mga katropa, kunin mo natin yung IP address ng ating Converge Router. So to do that, connect muna natin yung ating device, PC money or laptop, sa ating Converge Router. So using LAN cable or kung laptop, pwede din po sa Wi-Fi. Then kapag connected na po yan, press lang po natin sa keyboard po natin yung Windows logo plus R for the run command. And then sa run command, type po natin yung CMD, click OK and hit Enter. Then sa command prompt, type po natin yung IP config and hit Enter. Yung default gateway na nakikita po natin, yan po yung IP address ng ating Converge Router. Kung may akong gigamit, if you are using phone naman mga katropa, ang gagawin nyo lang po is connect po natin yung ating phone sa Wi-Fi ng ating Converge. And then download and install po natin yung IP config app. Then open po natin yung application. And meron na po tayong makikita dyan na default gateway. Yan po yung IP address ng ating Converge router. So please take note of that mga katropa sa IP address na nakuha po ninyo dahil we will use that information later. Ngayon mga katropa, i-remove na po natin yung connection po natin sa Converge router. Lilipat naman po tayo sa PLDT Home Fiber Router. Make sure na nakaturn on po ang iyong PLDT Home Fiber Router. So yung connection po ngayon dapat mga katropa is yung device po natin, PC man yan or laptop, at yung PLDT Home Fiber Router. Lose man kuya? Ah, pag din ha? Palususa na siya. Well, kidding aside mga katropa, natural lang po yan na nagka-LOS. Bakit? Dahil hindi na po yan connected sa PLDT service. If you are using phone naman mga katropa, connect nyo lang po ang phone sa PLDT Home Fiber Routers o no Wi-Fi. You may encounter na connected but no internet connection. But that's fine mga katropa. Ngayon, dahil connected na po yung ating PLDT Home Fiber at yung device po natin, or PC man yan, or phone, it's time to access the admin PLDT account ng ating PLDT Home Fiber 
router. So, kung hindi nyo po alam mga karapa kung paano i-access yan, click this i button. This is a self-help tech guide, so help yourself by not skipping any part of this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now, you must be able to access the admin PLDT web admin interface ng ating Ono router. So, gagawin natin ngayon, palitan na po natin yung IP address ng ating PLDT Fiber router. Inside sa PLDT Home Fiber web admin interface, punta po tayo sa network, sa LAN settings. Then, palitan po natin yung ating PLDT router's IP address dito sa LAN interface. Remember mga katropa that the IP na ipapalit po natin ay dapat same subnet po sa ating Converge Router's IP address. So kung ang Converge Router's IP address po ninyo ay 192.168.1.1, you can change the PLDT Router's IP address from 192.168.1.2 up to 254. But if your Converge Router's IP address is 192.168.100.1 then change your PLDT Home Fiber Router's IP address to 192.168.100.2 up to 254 So in my case mga katropa, 253 po yung gamit ko Ngayon napalitan na po natin yung IP address na ating PLDT router What's next? Disable na po natin yung DHCP server ng ating PLDT router so, bakit? And this setup mga katropa, yung ating main router po at si PLDT Home Fiber na ginawa po nating AP ay nasa iisang subnet lang po. So, sa isang subnet, dapat isa lang po yung DHCP server. Dahil kung dalawa po yan, magkaroon po ng confusion sa ating network. And it may result to network and internet connection problem. To disable DHCP server ng ating PLDT router, Punta lang po tayo sa network, sa LAN settings, scroll down lang po natin. Then sa DHCP service, then sa type, click po natin yung drop down button. Then select po natin yung disable, then click apply. Now, all set na po tayo mga katropa. Pwede na po natin i-connect yung ating PLD to Home Fiber Router sa ating Converge Router. So, yung gagawin po natin is from LAN 1 sa ating PLDT Home Fiber Router, then LAN 1 din po sa ating Converge Router. Pero kung gumagana naman po yung lahat ng ports ng yung Converge Router, ah, kahit saan lang. Pero sa PLDT Home Fiber Router, sa LAN 1 po talaga natin ikabit yung ating LAN cable. Make sure nga pala mga katropa while connecting PLDT Home Fiber to Converged Router na umiilaw po yung kanilang both LAN ports para sigurado po tayo na connected po silang dalawa. Once na connected na po yung ating PLDT Home Fiber Router mga katropa sa ating Converged Router, pwede na po tayong makakonect ng wireless devices sa ating PLDT Home Fiber Router's Wi-Fi. But, before doing that mga katropa, I suggest to forget all Wi-Fi network muna. Then, bago po tayo kukonek sa Wi-Fi ng ating PLDT Home Fiber Router. Kuya, why man Japan connection? Connected but no internet? I got a bad feeling about this. So, ito po yung sinasabi kong problema mga katropa. Kahit na connected na po yung device, wala pa rin internet connection na mas sagap. To solve this problem, i-disable pa natin yung AP isolation ng PLDT Home Fiber Uno Router. Please click this guide mga katropa for complete tutorial. Pero ang gamitin po yung IP address mga katropa ay hindi po telnet 192.168.1.1 dahil pinalitan na po natin yung IP address ng ating PLDT Home Fiber Router. So in this example, ang ginagamit ko po is telnet 192.168.253. After na ni-disable na po ninyo ang API isolation ng PLDT router mga katropa, it should be working now.
Shoutout nyo pala sa mga tropa natin dyan, kina Joshua Manuel and Yodex Chan. Parang pangalawang shoutout na to ha. Did you learn something? Get this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and subscribe for more. I'm also happy to see your comments.